Heaven does nothing. Its non-doing is its serenity. Earth does nothing. Its non-doing is its rest. From the union of these two non-doings, all actions proceed. All things are made. How fast, how invisible this coming to be. All beings in their perfection are born of non-doing. Hence, it is said, heaven and earth do nothing, yet there is nothing they do not do. Please watch on for spiritual insights on Taoism by the Reverend Thomas Merton. The Reverend Thomas Merton, an important Catholic mystic and spiritual thinker, was born in 1915 to a New Zealand father and an American mother. The many life situations he encountered in his youth led him to explore religion and spirituality, and eventually devote his life to God by becoming a monk, and later a deacon, at the Abbey of Gethsemane, a part of the Order of Trappists in Kentucky, USA. He also enjoyed living alone in a hermitage in the monastery's wilderness area. During his monastic life, Thomas Merton developed his writing talent by translating religious texts and writing biographies. He also started penning poetry as well as books and articles on topics ranging from spirituality to social justice and peace. One of Merton's most famous statements was, For me to be a saint means to be myself. Therefore, the problem of sanctity and salvation is in fact the problem of finding out who I am and of discovering my true self. He also said, We are living in a world that is absolutely transparent and God is shining through it all the time. This is not just a nice story or a fable. It is true. Believing in the equality of all religions, Thomas Merton became deeply interested in Eastern traditions such as Taoism in the last years of his life. He also held lively discourses with His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. Today the Thomas Merton Center in Kentucky the International Thomas Merton Society and others continue to study the life and works of the wise reverend. We now continue with excerpts from Thomas Merton's chapter on Taoism from his book Thoughts on the East. Taoism, also known as Taoism, is a Chinese philosophy originating from Lao Tzu's teachings in his classic spiritual text, Tao Te Ching. Thomas Merton on Taoism What it, the world, considers misfortune is bodily discomfort and labor, no chance to get your fill of good food, not having good clothes to wear, having no way to amuse or delight the eye, no pleasant music to listen to. If people find that they are deprived of these things, they go into a panic or fall into despair. They are so concerned for their life that their anxiety makes life unbearable, even when they have the things they think they want. Their very concern for enjoyment makes them unhappy. I cannot tell if what the world considers happiness is happiness or not. All I know is that when I consider the way they go about attaining it, I see them carried away headlong, grim and obsessed, in the general onrush of the human herd, unable to stop themselves or to change their direction. 
all the while they claim to be just on the point of attaining happiness. For my part, I cannot accept their standards, whether of happiness or unhappiness. I ask myself if after all their concept of happiness has any meaning whatever. My opinion is that you never find happiness until you stop looking for it. My greatest happiness consists precisely in doing nothing whatever that is calculated to obtain happiness. And this, in the minds of most people, is the worst possible cross. I will hold to the saying that perfect joy is to be without joy. Perfect praise is to be without praise. If you ask what ought to be done and what ought not to be done on earth in order to produce happiness, I answer that these questions do not have an answer. There is no way of determining such things. Yet at the same time, if I cease striving for happiness, the right and the wrong at once become apparent all by themselves. Contentment and well-being at once become possible the moment you cease to act with them in view. And if you practice non-doing, who way? You will have both happiness and well-being. Here is how I sum it up. Heaven does nothing, its non-doing is its serenity. Earth does nothing, its non-doing is its rest. From the union of these two non-doings, all actions proceed. All things are made. How vast, how invisible this coming to be. All things come from nowhere. How vast, how invisible. No way to explain it. All beings in their perfection are born of none doing. Hence it is said, heaven and earth do nothing, yet there is nothing they do not do. Where is the man who can attain to this none doing? Where is Tao? Master Tung Kuo asked Chuang, Show me where the Tao is found. Chuang Tzu replied, There is nowhere it is not to be found. The former insisted, Show me at least some definite place where Tao is found. It is in the end, said Chuang. Is it in some lesser being? It is in the weeds. Can you go further down the scale of things? It is in this piece of tile. Further? At this, Chuang Kuo had nothing more to say. But Chuang continued, None of your questions are to the point. Why look for Tao by going down the scale of being, as if that which we call least? had less of Tao? Tao is great in all things, complete in all, universal in all, whole in all. These three aspects are distinct, but the reality is one. Therefore come with me to the palace of nowhere, where all the many things are one. There at least we might speak, of what has no limitation and no end. Come with me to the land of none doing. What shall we there say? That Tao is simplicity, stillness, indifference, purity, harmony and ease? All these names leave me indifferent, for their distinctions have disappeared. My will is aimless there. If it is nowhere, How should I be aware of it? If it goes and returns, I know not where it has been resting. If it wanders, here then there, I know not where it will end. The mind remains undetermined in the great void. Here the highest knowledge is unbounded, that which gives things. Their thusness cannot be delimited by things. 
So when we speak of limits, we remain confined to limited things. The limit of the unlimited is called fullness. The limitlessness of the limited is called emptiness. Tao is the source of both, but it is itself neither fullness nor emptiness. Tao produces both renewal and decay, but it is neither renewal or decay. It causes being and non-being, but is neither being or non-being. Tao assembles and it destroys, but it is neither the totality nor the void. For more information about Thomas Merton, please visit merton.org. Insightful viewers, it was an honor to have you for today's program entitled Thoughts on Taoism by the Reverend Thomas Merton, Vegetarian, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, 